Oh, so I'm going to I'm going to show you how to regroup uh, multiple UVs from uh, from the same scene inside uh, one texture. So I worked in 3ds Max. I worked on a, a scene. I just just the beginning of it, and uh, usually the best thing to do is to model your whole scene. Then you unwrap all the objects. And when it's all unwrapped, you organize the, the UVs inside uh, even unwrap UVW and you try to be sure that you've got enough space in the texture uh, with uh, specific dimensions, 1024, 2048, whatever you want, whatever is necessary. And you put all your UVs in one image. Usually it's the best. Uh, but because I was too excited to begin on painting this scene, I just took one object and I imported it in uh, 3D code and then I began to paint. So the problem I have now is, uh, is that I have in my scene for the moment, I'm going to show you, it's somewhere there. Mm. Export. Okay. Okay, this is my scene in 3D code. So the problem I have is uh, I began to work on the objects one by one. So now instead of having one big scene with all the textures uh, properly uh, unwrapped, you see this on the right here, uh, it's only the ground, ceiling wood I called it. This is only the wireframe of the ground. And I have different textures like this. If I check my UV sets, the bench, the pillows, the wall, all this, uh, all these objects, five, a total of five objects, are in separated UV sets, which means in here a lot of layers, many normal maps, many uh, basic color, many uh, depth, uh, curvature, and so on. It's a mess. And this, when I export the scene you just saw, this is what I've got, what, what I get. You see, one normal map, one color for each object. object. And uh, some of them are 512, some of them are 20, 1024. I did this a bit randomly, and uh, some of them might even be too big. So what I would like is to regroup all this in one, only one image. What I was doing before, but maybe there's another way that I don't know. Before I would have taken these textures in Photoshop, I would have moved them all in, a, in one bigger image. And then with uh, Unwrap UVW from 3ds Max, for, for example, I would have moved in this view, I would have moved, uh, this is let's say the unwrap of Max, I would have moved the wireframe and try to, to go back on the, the right position in the image. But it's not a very nice way to do it. So I discovered today, that's why I'm sharing it with you because I think it's fucking powerful. Uh, I discovered today how to do it in 3D code. I never really found a tutorial that specifically uh, explained this issue, so I, I'm glad I finally found found out how to do it. So this is my scene, five different objects, five different uh, UV sets and many, many different textures. You go in uh, UV here and uh, just there you can see the different UV sets. I rename them, you can rename them from here. Rena rename your UV sets. Usually I give a name to the object, a name to the UV set, the same, so, so that it's clear what you're doing. Uh, so I'm going to uh, create a new UV set. Some of my textures again are big, some are small, so I'm going to create a new UV set. I will be able to change this later, it's not a big deal. I hope so, I'm still not sure about that, but let's say 4096 or probably 2048 should be enough. Uh, let's say 2048. And I'm gonna call this UV set uh, regroup. All right. So now if I select the UV set regroup, there's nothing in there, no wireframe. It doesn't correspond to anything in the in the scene. I'm going to select the ground, this this part here, and uh, select invert. And this is the magic stuff. You click on move and you move it inside the new UV set that's empty that you just created, regroup. So now the UV set of the wood the ground is empty, there's nothing anymore. You go inside regroup and here it is. The one thing I'm not sure about, this table before it was a 512 
times 512 texture. But this one I know because I just made it. The regroup is a UV set of 40, 96 means it's really cold right now. I don't know why. Should have put this uh, this texture 512, something like, like that. Should have put it very small, even in the middle. But somehow uh, it's stretched, it's uh, scaled. So yeah, this is one point I'm not sure about. So what I do, because I want to put them all here, and as you know in 3D code there's no tiling, everything needs to be inside this frame. If I let it here, I just saw that today, and I import, let's say, the pillows, then my textures will be merged, and it's a mess. So I'm not sure about that, but I, at least I know it worked this way. What I did, after importing one UV set, I move it out of the yellow frame. Then you go inside the next one, the bench. So invert, move UVs inside regroup. You go back in regroup, select these UVs, move them out of the yellow frame. And you do the same for every object. Ah, fuck, I'm... Okay, I go inside pillows, select them, move in regroup. I go in the UV regroup, take them out. Wall, invert, move in regroup, I go in the regroup. There might be a faster, faster way to select, uh, I don't know. So I just click, click, click. That's great. I don't know if there's a lasso selection or something like that. No big deal. Ah, fuck. Sorry. Okay. I just found out. <laughs> you just slide. Great. Selected, <coughs> and the last one. Oh, this is nice, I didn't know. And the last one, the same, move inside, regroup. All right, so now, just to be sure, I check all my UVs, bench, pillows, cylinder wall, uh, barrel, barrel table, I call it. They're all empty. And the last one, regroup, have all the wireframe inside. And then you go so there are great ways in 3D code compared to other programs I used. Great, great tools to pack your UVs. The one I usually prefer is this one. This one will keep the ratio, pixel ratio. So now it's voilà, 3D code packed, different textures, uh, different UVs with 512, 1024 size inside the new UV set I created. That's 20. Uh, I don't remember, 2048 times 2048. Now that your UVs have been updated, if I check here again, these ones are empty. Uh, I don't know, honestly, I don't know, delete unused UV set. I don't know, I'm not sure how to delete them. I did it before and I had a problem, so I'm gonna keep it this way. Uh, I'm sure it's pretty simple, I will figure it out later. I'll just show you how, what I discovered today. You go in paint now, your UVs have been modified. So you just apply the modification, for the moment it's still the old UV set, Five different pieces, okay. Are you sure? Yes, I am. And there you go, you let uh, you let 3 code compute, take some time. And here it is. Now, if I check in the texture, texture editor panel, if I check the UVs, it's always the same. All the others now are empty. They, they, there was something before. And now the last one, regroup. Really have all my scene inside. I don't know what, what, what's happening with all the layers down there because these layers correspond to the scene as, as it was before the UV uh, modifications. So there might be some work to do down there. I didn't try yet. For example, my texture, it still looks fine in the view, but somehow here it, it's very reddish. So I will check this. I will let you check that also. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's all about which layers are displayed down there. Some of them might not be use, uh, might be useless now. So I have a scene with some UV sets to delete. I will let you discover how to do that. I'm not sure how to do it from a UV somewhere. But the good thing, I tried this before it worked. Now if I export this new scene, let's say it's a new scene with new UV sets. If I export this one, before there were shitloads, as I showed you, you see all these, uh, all these textures. Now I export this scene, I'm gonna call it test.obj. Color, roughness, metalness, normal maps, ambient occlusion, curvature, padding 2, 
fair enough. Uh, TGA is better, but I don't, when you don't, I don't know, for the moment I use PNG, maybe TGA is better for, uh, for alphas and all, I'm not sure. All right, export. Now 3 code is creating all the, all the textures, but it's not five objects times five textures, more or less 25. Now it should be only, uh, it should be only five textures. Oh, there might be many more actually, because I didn't delete. Yeah, you see the white ones, it's all the unused UV sets from the, from before. So if you delete them in 3D code, they won't be created here. And here you go. Now you have a new test OBJ with still five different objects. If you open this scene in another three software, you will have five di different objects, but there's one common texture, color, uh, curvature, metalness. This is, uh, I, I just deleted it before, so that's why it's all black, the normal map and so on. And you see it's, uh, tw well, it's uh, 2048, just there, 2048 times 2048 texture. So this is how, and I'm so glad I finally found out how to do it. This is how you manage to regroup all your assets, textures, and UVs inside one big square. Uh, the great thing about that, yeah, you can prepare some props for your scenes, like plants and walls and pieces of walls, pieces, enfin, doors and whatever. Prepare them all, each its own texture with uh, the size you think is enough for the texture. And then you can mount your scene and put everything together and thanks to 3D code and the, the small trick I showed you, where you create one big, big texture with everything inside. I think it's very, very powerful. And as far as I know, but maybe I'm wrong, Substance Painter might have this kind of options. Uh, as far as I know, uh, there's no other way to do that with uh, any other software around, except maybe this one, uh, but I, I just installed it today and I really don't know how to use it for the moment. Well, I hope you learned something and uh, Enjoy, uh, enjoy 3D code as much as I do because it's a really, really good, really good app, I believe. Well, thanks.